4.20. Beautiful day on the Gale Fields. 1,400 the distance for race number three. Red lights on. They're set to fly. Gates fly back. The favourite was slow. Truth and Lies has crawled out of the gates. It's going to settle down. A good eight lengths behind the pace. Corgardiel had early speed together with Cloak and Dagger. Jazz me up and also release the sacks, making a line of four up front. They were followed by Monkey Bar. Then came Miss Merritt. A further half a length to Chow, Miss Turp. And then a break of half a length in the second half of the field to Hay and Lad, who throws his head up in the air. Now recovering down on the inside. Truth and Lies. The grey shakedown second last. And last of all, it's Adarendt. So eight lengths covers the field of 11. Top to tail, they work to the side of the course and it's released the sacks who shows the way from Cloak and Dagger. A further two then to Jazz Me Up. Coolgardiel getting a good run in the race. Chow Miss Turpin, then came Miss Merritt. A further two next of all to Monkey Bar. Truth and Lies buried away down on the inside together with Shakedown and Hay and Lad at Arenza. They're on the side of the course. It's Cloak and Dagger who went up on the outside of Release the Sacks. They were followed next of all by Jazz Me Up. Then came Coolgardiel extricated. Down on the inside, sticking to the fence is Chow Miss Turpin. Then came Miss Merritt, Monkey Bar next, followed by Hay and Lad. Truth and Lies locked away down on the fence. And then came Adarenza, shakedown last, past the 250. It's Cloak and Dagger who grabbed a narrow lead from Release the Sacks, trying to fight back. Further on then came Miss Merritt, together with Chow Miss Turpin. A race in two, however, Cloak and Dagger, Release the Sacks, the inside. Truth and Lies late with Hay and Lad. They hit the line, Release the Sacks. Release the Sacks has got up on the fence. Then I think Cloak and Dagger second photo third there between Truth and Lies and also Hay and Lad who got warm late. They were followed in by Miss Merritt, Coolgardiel, Chow Miss Turpin. Next of all was Jazz Me Up, a big break to Monkey Bar who didn't come on with it at Arenza and Shakedown was last across the line. Number 10, $18, release the sacks. Gets the job done for Renee Forrest and Brett Matthews, who brings up a early double in the first three on the card. Cloak and Dagger there, prominent for second. The seven. Hay and Lad running on late. Who, having a look at the still there for second, it's pretty close, but no doubt about the winner. Release the sacks on the inside. 18, 10 and 3.20, if you've captured it. Big price for this horse and a form reversal as well. It's only its third run back, so it's obviously appreciated the runs that it's had coming into this preparation, release the sacks, of course. Just having a look. Ran around on Anzac Day, then didn't come back to the 15th of July. They're running 8th, then ninth on the 29th of July, and it's come out today pretty much third up and got the job done for Brett Matthews and Renee Forrest. One gets second, a big run by Hay and Ladd, number one from the 12 Truth and Lies.